What's up, guys? I'm going to do a mukbang because I haven't done it in a long time. And I'm looking good. Even though I slave like a slave today and I worked like a bunch of hours. Girl, you can see it in my eyes, girl. But I got that cheddar, though. Don't be hating on me. You could work like me, too, man. i show you guys how to do it. All right. <laughs> Guess what I got today? Of course, I got my crunch wrap. Oh, yeah, of course, you guys probably seen it from the thumbtail. That, this is a Taco Bell mukbang. And look, it's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this mukbang because I want to try the little fries they be advertising. Ooh, girl, look good. Hold on, let me take this out. Girl, looking juicy up in his bag. Ay, it didn't close it right. Come on, man. Get out of this bag. Damn, the top is falling out and shit. Excuse my language. I need to stop crushing. Get off of my bag, man. Even though I love Diablo sauce. I love Diablo sauce. Like, when I eat Taco Bell, I need, I don't care what like sauce it is honestly if it's the fire or the girl now it's hot <sighs> girl let me take a picture mm -hmm. I'm gonna fall on me though mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look like I need some sleep. Anyways, let's try this, girl. Mm -hmm. This already looks good. It's a steak fries. I see some steak right there. I know. La vida es tan buena. Oh, girl. Look at that, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because dude, what, when people fucking do throw hate shit at me, I don't know. It, it just makes me laugh, man. I don't know, but here I go. Mmm, <laughs> girl, what the hell? Like it came out of a lunch truck or something. Fire. What? They got the carne asada? Mmm. This is fire, guys. Hey, honestly, I just came for the crunch wrap and the burrito, but I've been seeing this advertised a lot, and I'm like, I'm gonna do a mug bank on it. Goodbye. Let me see how much it costs. I don't even know how much it costs, girl. It doesn't matter. You, I'll, you guys will see when you guys buy it. Mmm. 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 You don't even need no sauce for this. Mmm. Alright. Anyway. I want to talk. Um. Nah, I don't even want to talk about nobody. I was going to dress haters, but. That's so much already. Let them live their life. Mmm. Girl. Mm -hmm. I do want to say one thing though. Anybody's nails I ever did. I do do my best on every set ever since I started. Like when ever since I started doing nails since the beginning, I've never been at the level I'm at, at doing nails right now, and I'm pretty proud of myself at the level I'm at right now. It is cost me to get to the level where I'm at right now. But let me get take a swig of this because you know you can't go wrong with no fanta. You got the cup fanta with some condensa. I don't know why I'm all happy right now. I don't know, girl.
damn it's probably because the fats are so damn good girl Ooh, most delicious thing i ever heard anyways yeah i'm i it's cost me time and practice to get to the level i'm at i was talking to a couple one of my customers the other day me and her go way back a couple years back from when i first started and um i i told her because she she obviously gets the bomb sets that i do now you know and uh, over the years the sets just gotten better and better um and i'm like dude i told her i was like hey dude um uh, remember when i used to do those nails on you and we used to swear up and down they were fire <laughs> Like, we didn't even give each other a high five. Like, yeah, we did that, girl. Hell yeah, that's right. And you know what I mean? We'll go out, you know, like, you know, she'll go party, I'll go party, you know. But we, I look at the nails now, and I'm like, damn, they weren't all that. But at the time, that style was that all that, you know? And I've been doing nails for five years, guys. But, you know, I just, I, I mentioned that because, you know, it's progress. You know, you go through progress. And, you know, probably whoever went to me before, they're probably used to somebody that was at, le at a level that is, that I'm at now, you know? So, of course, not everybody liked my nails back then, but I thought they were bomb. You know what I mean? To each his own but i've never posted work that i never i did you know like everybody look you know i'm not I'm gonna explain myself shit man fuck them i don't know but me and my customer were laughing we we're like damn we were like fucking just like happy as hell about that nail set we did <laughs> but look at my look at it now and um i'd be like damn it wasn't that bomb and, and she was like yeah like i look at the sets now but at that time i thought they were the shit too you know it's just you know the, the style changes you know like the shape has changed now look at this y'all mm, 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 mm. boom we're just there i could get full dude this is like a whole little meal right here i just can't stop mm, it's so good I have a whole crunch wrap right there, though. Look, there's a carne asada right there. That's carne asada. Mmm. Whatever. Look, my eyes are red. I bet you haters be watching this mug bang. Girl, y'all motherfuckers don't have a life. I swear. And even if I never met you and, and you're that, that hater that I never even met in my life, and you be in my hate, the people that make hate pages on me, like, girl, <laughs> you're sad and pathetic. Straight up. Never catch me doing some hater shit like that. Not even on my worst enemy. You know why? Because I don't got time for that person. I don't got time. You know what I got time for? Me building myself up, building my legacy building my wealth as you should too and i'm only talking to like 
haters right now okay guys not not you guys that love me and appreciate me i love you guys so much you guys don't know how grateful i am to have people like you around for real people like that it's hard to find i don't know but enough of that enough of that i'm just talking about this because you know i get little hate comments every day before like all these other years i i would ignore it and i wouldn't respond to it but now i'll be responding to this but not all the time i don't respond all the time i just respond here and there but not to nobody like directly you know because i don't even want to explain it girl anyways that little nacho stuff was fire um I don't want to explain it because you can't really explain it. You can't explain haters' actions because they don't make sense. You know? Like, you'll try to explain the hater, like, what they're doing, but it don't make sense. And it doesn't make sense why would somebody do shit like that. That's why I don't want to explain it. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. This is a word of advice, guys. If you ever... And this is a word of advice to the people that love me and like my video. This is like... This is like going deep in within yourself, guys. Because I know a lot of you guys like really like love me and I love you guys too. Um, This is for you guys. If you guys ever reach a point where somebody has the power to get you so mad so mad that it boils your your blood and it it just irritates you like ah oh, like and it's like instant dude start praying and don't let anybody have that much power over you don't let anybody get you like mad like to that extent that you just detest them you know like and you do things like that like you know harass them and, and then just continuously whatever 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 or just even not even if you don't harass anybody or just like somebody that could get you that mad like that it boils your 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 body your your blood boils inside you gotta go you know how you how you get over stuff like that you gotta go within and be like why does that bother me so much and you gotta start being really real with yourself don't lie to yourself and just say how it is whatever it's like a self-talk to yourself and and the truth i know this is gonna sound corny right now but the truth sets you free. Like. You gotta like. Ask yourself. Why does it. First. Three questions. Why does it get you that upset? What is the root cause. Of the thing that's making you so upset. Like what is the root cause. And then when you find a root cause. Why. Why is that a root cause for you why 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 is that a root and when you find that root dig 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 keep digging keep digging till you hit an epiphany like whoa oh, okay you know like that's why and then from there you know you gotta start like just accepting the truth of any whatever gets you mad you have to accept the truth about it like let me give you an example hmm girl i gotta get into my girl this is i'm i can't be giving you guys life advice on my mug bank but that's a short clip if you guys like that hit the thumbs up and i'll go more in detail about how how i 
get through life like that's how i like everything i explain to you that's how i get through life that's why nobody can really get me mad you know what i mean like and i get over stuff fast and i forgive forgiveness too is key and if you look at somebody in you they get on your nerves so much you're just like ew like it's hate why do, why does hate oops why does hate grow inside of you that you hate a person you know and you know it's not good to live with hate at all so if you ever experience that and i'm not saying that like you guys are like bad people for experiencing these feelings because i've experienced them before i think the first time i ever experienced deep hate was in that's another story time girl but that's a little bit more graphic dude i was in jail and i don't know if i should say it but I overcame it, you know? And and I overcame it by telling myself the truth of the matter of why. Why does... I can't. I, I have to I have to share that story, but... I kind of don't want to. Because it's personal. And... I was in jail when that happened. I was 15, 14. I was in June all. But I don't like to share stuff like that. I don't like to share like like stuff like that I was in June hall. And also because what does that pick that like they pick me as like a like a badass like if I'm down or something. I don't like to like portray that image. You know? Cause you know, like I'm over here trying, girl. I'm over here trying to live like a a good civilian life, you know. And sometimes I feel like I don't want to like make people feel like they should want to go to like juvenile hall or go to jail you know like i don't want to like idolize that or something but when i talk about it it's like i've had like really fun fun times <laughs> you know what i mean like to me it's like not bad you know so when i talk about it it seems like if i'm like you know like if it's a good it's a good route to go you know but it's not it's just like i make the best out of my situation so i don't like to talk about it but yeah that's around the time i experienced that all right i'll tell you i'm gonna go a little deep dig it in a little backstory but keep in mind i'm not that person anymore in high school in high school i would always be like 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 i was always like a fighter when i was like uh, growing up you know like anybody like i don't care how big you are how whatever like a mere fear and to me fear doesn't live inside of me ever since i was little you know but when I hit the Juno Hall, there was like I didn't want to be in there. You know what I mean? Like I was like, "Fuck! I want to go home." You know what I mean? Like I was locked and I was locked up in cells and shit. Like so, and the judge would always tell me, "Like I'm, a, I'll let you go on early release, or I won't even give you a, a a longer sentence if you act good in there. You don't fight." I swear this has something to do with what I was just talking about. Man, my food is getting cold. What the hell? Hold up. That crank trap. Um. 
I ain't really full, guys. I feel cool because that means I'm skinny. Um, well, yeah. So, I get in there, but that's what the judge would tell me. My, my judge look like, um, Judge, that, that one lady. Judge, Judge Brown? Judge Brown. She looked like that. She was real pretty. Um, but I know. That's what she'll tell me. And once I get in there, I don't see girls that are just like me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, not everybody was, you know, like that. But there's a few girls in there that are pretty solid. But what got, what, when I started experiencing when I ever felt like that hate, like the disgust when I seen somebody was is that they weren't afraid not to go home you know what i mean like so if they fought they didn't they didn't care you know what i mean like fuck it i'll give them extra time and i did i wanted to go home you know what i mean so that's when hate and jealousy came into place i've never really felt like honestly i didn't feel it was not I didn't know it was jealousy, but when you hate somebody where your blood boils, that's jealousy, dude. You know what I mean? And I didn't know that I was mad and and it triggered me so bad that it made my blood boil just to see somebody like that. Nobody ever punked me though. Let me tell you, shoot, hell no. Nah. I didn't. I I didn't. Well, did I fight in there? A couple times, but I never got caught. But, um, yeah, like, I, I, you know what I mean? Like, nobody, nobody ever punked me, but the, some, there were some girls in there that I, I just wanted to, like, you know, take flight on, but I, like, it got me mad that I, that I wanted to go home, you know what I mean? But, yeah, and that's when I first felt that first sensation of just like the blood boiling and it. somebody just gets you so mad and it was just not a particular person it was just like uh, the people that didn't give a fuck about going home you know what i mean like so right there and i didn't so you know I, like juvenile hall i always end up I, I always used to go in and out of juvenile even in, all the time so i would experience that feeling all the time every time i go back the rage in there I didn't ever felt it out here because out here it was a free range, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't have to like, you know, like detain detain my anger. Uh, but so one day I was like, man, that's not healthy. Like I never used to feel this way, like the 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 blood boiling. I I just had it already like uh, i'm probably started thinking like i'm already 16 or 15 when i'm thinking like this so i must have felt it in my early 15s and maybe in my later 15s or early 16s i was like i don't want to i don't want to feel that way you know what i mean like that's never been me like because to me that's a hater like if if something if something can make you so mad that means somebody has power over you and i knew that as an early age so i was like mm, i you know like I gotta go deep within, like, to to see why am I feeling that way. And I started really thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and it dawned on me. I'm like, it gets me mad that they don't give a fuck that they, they could go home. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's jealousy. I'm jealous that they don't care that they, they could go home. And they could still be that person that they were from the outside, inside, too. I couldn't. I, I want to, like... I, I couldn't be who I was outside, inside, because if I was the person out that I was on the outside, inside, I was staying there forever. You know what I mean? And that's when, and that's when you start telling yourself the truth. Like, you are being jealous. Why? Why? Why are you being jealous? And you start to have to answer those questions to yourself, and you got to be real with yourself. And then once you just discover and tell yourself the truth you get over things like that and nobody can make your blood boil but you gotta tell yourself the truth and accept it 
and upset it that's the only way nobody can ever get to you tell yourself the truth and and living your truth girl give you a valuable lesson in a muck break yeah I'm not hungry no more, I'm, I'm done. Those natural fries are fire. I'm done. I hope you guys liked this video. And let me tell you something about this little carnage. Carnage? Carnage? Oh God, it's cold. It doesn't help that I have it at 72 in here. Oh, cold as hell. Guys, if you guys are to see my car, it looks disgusting right now. I took this little dog to the beach, peed in my car two times. It smells like pee in here. Well, it doesn't really smell like pee, but if you leave, if I leave, and I come back to the car when it was when it's hot. I think the smell arises because I cleaned it. I'm getting ready to get it tired, man. You guys gotta get it with thumbs up. I share something real personal and helpful. I think I've shared that before with somebody with people, but never. No, have I shared that with somebody? Yeah, I have shared that with somebody. I've shared that with people before. About the way I overcame uh, when somebody ever tripped like that, that. That feeling. That was the first time I ever felt that in my life, dude. The feeling. And it kind of, it, it kind of like uh, feels too. Because you feel not, you feel powerless. You feel powerless because somebody could get to you that mad. And just feeling powerless gets you more mad. So, moral of the story: don't let them, nobody get to get you that mad. And if somebody can, you gotta start telling yourself the truth of why, 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 why. Don't tell it to nobody else. You don't even have to tell nobody ever in your life, but you have to tell yourself. Because you know who you got to live with? Your mind and you. At the end of the day, you can tell everybody whatever you want. But you can never lie to yourself. And you got to live with yourself. You got to wake up with yourself. Sleep with yourself. Eat with yourself. Think with yourself. So... Let's start by telling the truth. All right, guys, bye. I gotta go.